and many other conveniences. With the popular use of motor cars, Bunbury became the center of a number of fall year weather roads with scenic and historic drives radiating from the town. Industrialization of Bunbury began in the 1950s, including the mining of mineral sand, the opening of a chemical plant, bulk fuel storage tanks, and an enlarged concrete silo. The tensions developed between industrial development and environmental preservation reaching ahead by 1970. By 1991, the population had reached 25,000, and today it's 50,000, the second largest city in the state. Bunbury now has over 800 ships visit annually. Bunbury today, during the last half of the 19th century, Bunbury developed as a dynamic, vibrant city. Bunbury was a transportation hub with rail, road, and ocean connections servicing the prosperous agricultural hinterland of the Southern District. A comparison of old photos with Bunbury today illustrates the expansion. One notices the expansion in the port and the development of the Central Business District. Although some of the old stores remain, dating back to the 1940s and 30s, much is new. In the center of town, it's a large, looming white building built by Alan Bond and called the Milk Carton. The sea dominates the town not only as a shipping port, but as the center of recreation with swimming, surfing, and sailing. The beaches attract visitors still. There are lots of new hotels to accommodate the visitors with recreational pursuits and pubs. Scuba diving is popular, such as diving on the old shipwreck Novena. Some visitors just watch the birds and wildlife, including sea lions and the numerous dolphins that accommodate their interest on the beaches. Many of Bunbury's older buildings have disappeared, and it's hard to find the older settler's cottages. There's been massive reconstruction of large, modern, expensive houses in Bunbury. The Lord Forest Hotel is a particularly large, luxurious hotel located near the central center of town. It's hard to find large apartment blocks in Bunbury but one noticeable extension was the conversion of the old wheat silos into luxurious apartments overlooking the Yacht Harbor. Marishton Hill is the site of a particularly expensive real estate development and a large rotary lookout overlooking the city. The Lighthouse Hotel is a substantial structure overlooking the ocean and the uh, Bunbury Lighthouse. Bunbury boasts of some excellent cycling routes and walking trails located throughout the city and a very active campaign from the Hart Foundation to take up walking. One of the trails leads through a mangrove swamp with lots of interesting wildlife to Pelican Point another site of expensive real estate and canals. Like most of Bunbury, Pelican Point is located directly on the ocean with beautiful sand beaches. On the way back from Pelican Point, I passed the wood chip industry, uh, export point and mineral sand, and drop into the Geograph Bay Wine Festival that's being held on the weekend. From there, it's a Guinness at the Irish pub. Thanks for joining me, dear viewer, your host, Don, on this quick tour 
of Bunbury, past and present. I do hope you have a great day.